to Know Your Bible. I'm Reverend Birgit Goodrow, and today we're going to study Genesis chapter 48. So last week in Genesis chapter 47, we learned that Joseph made an oath to his father Jacob that he would send him back to Canaan in the burial place where Abraham and Isaac also was buried. So this lesson is basically about blessings and Jacob is going to bless Joseph's sons. Now blessings in Hebrew means a pulling down from above and God's anointing and everything that God can provide is blessings. Let us read together verse 1 to 4. Now it came to pass after these things that Joseph was told, Indeed, your father is sick. And he took with him his two sons, Menashe and Ephraim. And Jacob was told, Look, your son Joseph is coming to you. And Israel, whose Jacob strengthened himself and sat up on the bed. Then Jacob said to Joseph, God Almighty appeared to me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me and said to me, Behold, I will make you fruitful and multiply you, and I will make of you a multitude of people and give this land to your descendants after you as an everlasting possession. So back in Genesis 28, it mentions about Luz. That is a place where God blessed Jacob and used him. It was also promised that Jacob's descendants will become nations and multiply. And in the Hebrew Bible, this word multiply also means sometimes that it'll be like fish in the sea. So it refers sometimes to fishes. So we can also connect this word uh, multiply as fishes in the sea with Jesus back when he was with um, Peter and his brother James and they were out fishing and and he said you will become fishers of men let us read verse 5 and 6 and now your two sons Ephraim and Manasseh who were born to you in the land of Egypt before I came to you in Egypt are mine as Reuben and Simon they shall be mine your offspring who you beget after them shall be yours. They will be called by the name of their brothers in their inheritance. So Jacob is not going to make it to the promised land, but he's going to carry this promise down to his children's children. Verse 7. But as for me, when I came from Padan, Rachel died before me in the land of Canaan on the way, when there was but a little distance to go to Ephrath, and I buried her there on the way to Ephrath. This is today Bethlehem. So Jacob is calling Joseph's sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, his sons. And so he calls them forth to bless them. So when Jacob's grandchildren came forward, he said the same things as his father said. He said, who are you? Because he was also blind at this time. And so Joseph put the oldest son on the, his right side and the youngest on his left. Verse 8 and 9. Then Israel saw Joseph's sons and said, who are these? And Joseph said to his father, they are my sons whom God has given me in this place. And he said, Please bring them to me, and I will bless them. So when Joseph received his first son from his wife, he called his oldest son Manashe, which means in Hebrew, to forget. And so his second son, when he was born, he called him Ephraim, which means to be fruitful. Verse 10 and 11, Now the eyes of Israel were dim with age, so that he could not see. Then Joseph brought them near him, and he kissed them and embraced them. 
And Israel said to Joseph, I had not thought to see your face, but in fact, God has also shown me your offspring. And Joseph, he's bowing down in humbleness without any pride in front of his father, even though he is in a high position in the land. He humbles himself. What a great example he is to us today. Verse 12 to 14. So Joseph brought them from beside his knees, and he bowed down with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim with his right hand toward Israel's left hand, and Manasseh with his left hand toward Israel's right hand, and brought them near him. Then Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it on Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand on Manasseh's head, guiding his hands knowingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. So as we know, also that Jacob was not the firstborn, but also the secondborn. And he also received the blessing from his father, Isaac. So as you know, I study online with Dr. Baruch Corman, and a lot of Hebrew words that he mentions are translated a little differently in our English Bible. And in the verse 16, it mentions about an angel, which he is remembered, that Jacob remembers he was blessed. And so the angel in Hebrew means Hamalach, which is also a messenger. Verse 15 and 16. And here he's going to bless Joseph first. And he blessed Joseph and said, God before whom my father Abraham and Isaac walked, the God who has fed me all my life long to this day, the angel who has redeemed me from all evil, bless the lads, let my name be named upon them, and the name of my father Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into the multitude in the midst of the earth. So now Jacob is ready to bless his grandsons like his own children. And so when he reaches out his hand, on the right is the oldest, uh, Manasseh, and the left of Ephraim, he crosses his, his arms over. And so his son Joseph said, Hold on, Dad, what are you doing? You know that the firstborn is on your right and the second is on your left. But he's saying, no, Joseph, I know what I'm doing. God is calling me to bless the Ephraim, the secondborn, more than the firstborn. Verse 17 and 18. And now when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand on the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. So he took his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's head. And Joseph said to his father, Not so, my father, for this one is the firstborn. Put your right hand on his head. Well, Jacob really knew what he was doing, and he corrected his son. And he said, I have knowledge of this, this let me do what God is telling me to do. So Jacob is now blessing his grandsons, Manasseh and Ephraim, and pulling down the blessings from heaven. Verse 19 and 20. But his father refused and said, I know, my son, I know. He also shall become a people, and he also shall be great. But truly... His younger brother shall be greater than he, and his descendants shall become a multitude of nations. So he blessed them that day, saying, By you Israel will bless, saying, My God make you as Ephraim and as Manasseh. And thus he set Ephraim before Manasseh. So Jacob is not going to make it to the promised land, but he's going to carry this promise down to his children's children. 
verse 21 and 22. Then Israel said to Joseph, Behold, I am dying, but God will be with you and bring you back to the land of your fathers. Moreover, I have given to you one portion above your brothers, which I took from the hand of Amorite with my sword and my bow. So it is God's call to bless Israel, and Israel is going to bless the world. So thank you all for joining me today. Next week we're going to study Genesis chapter 49. And in that chapter, uh, Jacob is going to bless each of his sons before he passes away. Please help this channel and subscribe.